If you had to describe New Hope to somebody who didn't know anything about it, what would you say? I would say, you know, you'd come to town and you'd instantly, you'd have to strike up a conversation with somebody. Well, you know the black sheep in the family. She said, this is where all the black sheep in the families come to live. And I thought, that's me. I've been waiting all my life for this moment to arrive. What do you feel, Pumpkin, when you meet somebody who's different from you? I love meeting different people. I mean, if everybody was the same, the world would be awfully boring. I like hanging out with older people. I mean, like when I started. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I've been dreaming in my mind all this dream to materialize. Well, the argument about this town a lot is that um, in order to be people who come to New Hope have to be different, and they have to be different for differences' sake, which is not ever true. Yeah, I mean, why would you want to have just a little group of people? that's your friends and not know like some really awesome person just because of what they look like. It's a kind of town where if you want to fit in, you better be yourself and allow other people to be themselves. A very close-knit community, but you don't hear about it. It doesn't get to be headlines. I think if, you're, if they see you're part of them and you're, you're part of the community, wow, they, they, just, they just latch on to you right away. You live your life and, and live it well and don't hurt anybody else. It really doesn't matter much what you are. That's the thing. I mean, we're one mile square and we get along. I mean, we fight over stupid things, like zoning things, not about differences. coming to New Hope and they've been accepted and because of that they keep coming back.